India now has the third COVID-19 vaccine in its armor, with the DCGI giving a go-ahead to Sputnik V for emergency use in the country. Sputnik V joins Bharat Biotech's Covaxin and Oxford AstraZeneca's Covishield at a time when there is a worrying spike in cases across India. We'll break down for you what each vaccine is and how they work. First up, Sputnik V. Sputnik V, which also shares its name with the world's first artificial satellite made by Russia, is an adenovirus-based vaccine that is being used by Moscow for mass vaccination. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said one of his daughters has already had two doses of the vaccine. It's also been approved in 59 countries apart from India, with a total population of over 1.5 billion people. The vaccine has been developed by the Gamaleya Research Institute of Russia and funded and promoted outside by the Russian Direct Investment Fund. In India, the RDIF's partner is Dr. Reddy's Laboratories, which conducted clinical trials. Sputnik V is promising, especially because its efficacy rates are higher than both Covishield and Covaxin, which are currently in use. While Covishield and Covaxin have shown an efficacy of around 81% in trials, Sputnik V returned with 91-92% to efficacy. Next up, Covishield. Covishield has been developed by the Oxford AstraZeneca and is being manufactured and distributed by the Serum Institute of India. Covishield has been prepared using the viral vector platform, which is totally different technology. The chimpanzee adenovirus has been modified to enable it to carry the COVID-19 spike protein into the cells of humans. This cold virus is basically incapable of infecting the receiver, but it can very well teach the immune system to prepare a mechanism against and such viruses. Finally, Covaxin. Covaxin has been developed by Hyderabad-based Bharat Biotech International Limited in association with the Indian Council of Medical Research and National Institute of Virology. Covaxin contains inactivated viruses which cannot infect a person but can still teach the immune system to prepare a defense mechanism against the active virus. The principle of using inactivated viruses as vaccines is tried and tested and has been used in the past for several diseases like rabies, polio, and and influenza. There's no difference between the three vaccines in terms of dosage. All of them follow a two-dose regimen administered 28 days apart. All three vaccines, Sputnik V, Covishield and Covaxin, can be stored at 2 to 8 degrees centigrade, which is the household refrigerator temperature. This makes all the vaccines more suited for Indian conditions and doesn't require an additional cold chain infrastructure, making storage and transportation easy. Amid India's spiralling COVID-19 situation, scientists have pointed the need to boost supplies as the primary challenge in vaccinating India's population. India has the capacity to inoculate with 10 million doses of Covishield vaccine per month and 3 million Covaxin doses per month. And with Sputnik V in the list, India gets a robust ally in the war against COVID. Several other nations have given approval for emergency use of Johnson & Johnson vaccine as well. US pharma giant Johnson & Johnson is the only manufacturer with a single-dose COVID-19 vaccine and is all set to begin bridging clinical trials in the country. In India, Johnson & Johnson has tied up with Biological E to expand manufacturing capabilities of its vaccine candidate. 